here's my Cuisinart Griddler Deluxe after nearly five years of use. I still have the original plates. Overall this unit is still in really good condition. All functions are working properly. You can see a bit of discoloration. Uh, that's been starting to happen for a while here. But that's just natural. There's a few nicks, some wear and tear. The real trick to keeping these units is keeping them clean. You see at the back where you're likely to have a little bit of filth build up is nice and clean. I take a toothbrush to the height adjustment assembly every once in a while. Uh, it's overall pretty good. Behind the scenes here, you see a bit of discoloration. Same with the bottom. There's a bit of discoloration there. More discoloration. But all in all, everything works perfectly. I could care less about uh, the cosmetics as long as it's still working. This is used two or three times a month. It has been since I've owned it. My recommendation for purchasing this unit has gone from a strong buy to an extremely strong buy. The reason my endorsement of this product has become even more favorable over time is simply because of its durability. It is nice to buy a small kitchen appliance that does not have a frustratingly short lifespan. These units last, and where I paid $230 on sale five years ago for my Griddler Deluxe, they can now be purchased from several online retailers for as little as $180. That's Canadian dollars with delivery included. Grilling meats and vegetables with an electric grill is different from barbecuing, but if you embrace the differences, some rather amazing results can be achieved. Essentially, you are replacing the much desired charbroil flavor of barbecuing with the limitless possibilities of marinades and glazes. With my often used marinated chicken breast setup, I like to completely fill the grill. First I add a simple kebab of bell peppers and onion and then fill in the spaces with some zucchini slices. All of the vegetables used here are cut to a height matching the meat with a handy plastic bread slicer. Now here's a little trick I started using recently. By lining the outside of the grilling area with larger slices of bell pepper, the flavor filled steam from cooking is forced back inwards toward the food being grilled. You may have noticed that I started out by brushing the grilling plates with a light coating of cooking oil. If I need to sear a steak, I will use a frying pan instead of the built-in sear function, and I never cook anything above the 300 degree setting. I have taken these measures in an effort to prolong the life of the grill plates, and this old listing for replacement plates is why. This price is in US dollars for one plate, and where it says free shipping, that is not true for international purchasers. A new set of two plates would have cost me about 140 Canadian dollars. But just recently this listing appeared on Amazon.ca where I noticed this. Now that's more like it. However, despite this newly realized price break, I will continue my plate preservation practices for as long as I own this unit. Now let's get back to tonight's cooking. From experience, I know that this will take around 9 minutes of total cooking time, which I divide into 4 sessions, basting everything with some of the marinade I set aside in between those sessions. Between the third and fourth sessions, I turn everything over to ensure even basting. Now let's jump to the end of this grilling session to check out the results. That is some beautiful grilled chicken and vegetables ready for tonight's meal with any leftover chicken cut up and served over salad throughout the week. Tonight I will complement my indoor electric grilling efforts with some red mini potatoes with chopped carrots and dacon radish morsels done in my T-Fell Actifry air fryer. Again, I strongly recommend the Cuisinart Griddler Deluxe Model GR150. I expect to get 10 years out of mine. Well, thanks again for watching. To steal a line from Dan Hurd's prospecting channel, I hope I have earned your subscription today. And as always, I hope to see you next time. When stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue, on those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through. When stars won't shine for you, and your dreams turn black and blue, on those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through.